Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jimmy. I'm with Tropicana Golf and the golf season is in full swing, but you shouldn't be. Today, I'm gonna to teach you why a short, compact backswing is so much more productive than a long, nasty full swing. I'm gonna play a couple holes, I'm gonna prove it to you, and it's coming up right after this. Okay, listen, I get it. We all wanna hit the ball so far. That's, that's just in us. We want to pump the ball. The problem is we take this long back swing and from here it's like, do I go this way? Do I go this way? Do I go this way? We don't know. And we try them all and they're all terrible because balls are flying everywhere. But there's an easier way to do this. What if I told you to swing to here or feel like you swing to here? If you feel like you swing to here, you're probably getting up here. If you feel like you're getting to this position with the club face looking down at the ball, hands almost at the waist, and then just bring the club back down. Watch how easy this is. Swing to your waist and bring the club down. I, I feel like you could do that. I really feel like you could do that. Yeah, Jimmy, but the ball's not going to go anywhere. Really? Have you tried it? Have you tried it? Try it and let me know if the ball goes anywhere. I promise you it will, because you're hitting the ball in the center of the club face, which is the most important part of golf, okay? So just do this for me. Get to here with the club face looking down at the ball, and from here, bring it back down to the ball, right here. That's it, look at this. Turn here and turn forward. I'm gonna play a couple holes. I'm gonna show you how easy this is to do. Ready, that's one. We're gonna tee it up. I have a five iron, it's 351 yards downhill. I have a five iron off the tee, okay? This is nothing crazy. The ball will still go. Swing to here, watch how it comes down. Boom, again, boom, okay? That's it, watch how easy this is. Head down, half swing. Tell me that didn't go anywhere. I don't know how far my backswing was, but I felt like it went to here. Okay, let's go play. Let's figure this out. Let me show you how easy this can be. That ball went, that ball went 200 yards, at least. It's 351 off the tee. It's 351 off the tee. If I have 150 yards, I went 200 yards with a five iron. Let's go see. I can't promise you, because I'm not down there yet, but I think it, I think it was good. So. Let's go find out. This is an easy way to play. And yes, you will get distance. You will. You may not think, look at the bunny. Fly pelican. Oh, there's another one. There he is. Raja rabbit. Oh my God. Not only did this go 200 yards. <laughs> I want you to see something. I want you to see something. It's not going to go as far. There's my ball. There's the 100 yard marker. I started with 351. I have 100 left. What is that? Exactly. Easy. It's easy. Because I hit the ball in the center of the club. Okay, there's the, there's the green. Now, you don't want to be long, okay? For sure you don't want to be long. There's a shadow of two palm trees up there. You want to keep it for sure for sure, for sure, in front of those, okay? So let's see if I can get you a good angle here to see. That'll work, I like that. Okay, so you wanna put it right, right in those palm trees right there, right in that little shadow, okay? So I have 100 and, probably 104 yards. Downhill, I don't wanna be long, right here. Now, you can do this right before you hit, look. Go up here and watch the club go down, look. Boom, boom. That's all you have to do. That's this whole swing. The whole mystery of the golf swing here. Do it slow so you see it. Your body, you're teaching your body what to do. And you step up and do it slow again. We're in no rush. Watch. Oh my God, I hit it too hard. I'm hitting the ball so hard lately. 
<laughs> it's just, it's crazy. Like, bowl's not going to go anywhere. Uh, yes, it is. That went too far because I hit it too well. Let's fix this divot. Um, don't let the myth that you're not going to have enough club or distance. It's not true. I hit a 56. Yes, it's downhill. Okay. So maybe it was like 95. Maybe I should have hit a 60 degree, but I still hit it really well. So don't be fooled by this half swing. Now, I don't know if this is going half swing. I feel half swing. Could it be further? Possibly. Possibly. But I, I don't feel like I'm doing very much. And, and that's a great thing. So we're going to take a wedge and a putter. I have my 69 degree wedge. There it is. My favorite club. Probably my favorite club in the bag. Because I can use it anywhere. I can use it from 65 yards and I can use it from 6 yards. It's pretty, pretty remarkable. Okay, now. My ball ended up where? Back there. Can you see it? Right there. So I have a good, let's call it 12 yards. At this point, my only goal is to give myself a chance to putt for par. Now, I'm off the green. I have to chip this. I like to putt whenever I can, but this is too far back. So what do I do? I take my 69 degree wedge. I pick a spot out in front of the hole, like right here. I just let it land right here. Now, how do I get it there? Do I take a hinge, hold, rotate, full swing? No, I take a putting stroke like this. Like if I'm putting the ball, I'm just putting. I'm just putting. That's my putting stroke. If I was over the ball and I was, had a 30 foot putt, I would go like this. That's how I'm going to hit this ball with a putting stroke. Ready? Land it short, let it run up. Putting stroke. Hey, that's not too bad. I can make that putt. And if I don't, who cares? Make bogey. It's fine. But I'm hitting the ball well. I just, I hit it too hard. I hit the first shot. I'm sorry, the approach shot too hard. But this works. I didn't spray it into the bushes or hit it in the houses. Keeping it on the fairway. I missed a little right here. Sure. This looks like a dead straight putt. I envision that I draw a line with fishing wire from my ball to the left side of the cup because the ball is going to go that way. So I draw a line with fishing wire and then I put the ball and my club on the fishing line. Okay. I just see the, the, the putting, I'm sorry, the fishing line and I just move everything down that that fishing line. I don't come off this way. I don't go that way. There's just a wire attached or a track or whatever you want to envision, but it just goes straight down that fishing wire. That's what I like. I see the line. I see the wire. I hit the ball, stay on the wire. Bang, bang, Charlie Murphy. Okay. That's a par. I like that. I can play with that. And keep it. I saved it. I'm happy. Half swing. Never took a full swing. Never going to do it. Feeling of greatness. Mo Norman. So this, we're going to keep playing. So sit down and finish your snack because we're going to keep going. I'm going to show you how this really does work. You need to limit the mistakes that you make. You need to play a little bit smarter. I have a buddy who is a great player, Mr. Ricky Hunter. He's the best in our club. Doesn't pump the ball 350. Uh, great around the green. Like his, he doesn't, I mean, he hits a lot of greens, but when he doesn't, it's no problem. It's, it's automatic. And that's why he, that's why he's the best because he doesn't make big mistakes. And the big mistakes come from hitting the ball out of bounds. He doesn't hit the ball out of bounds, ever. He just keeps it going and keeps it pure. And that's what this technique will enable you to do. Now, the, the lower scores come from chipping and putting, for sure. 
but you can't even get there if you hit your first ball out of bounds. So the whole point of this is keep your ball in play, give it a chance, and then save it. Like I just saved it. We have a par three down the hill. Let's zoom in. It's a back flag. It's way down there. Okay. I can land it anywhere by that tree. Well, not by the tree, but on that line. And then I have a little uphill putt, which I like. Let's see if we can adjust this so we can see. That'll work. Kind of. Right there. Okay. So we get back and we do it again. I have a seven iron. It's 187 yards, it says on the but that's 187 from there, so maybe it's 175. Okay. Here, right there, and then how does this club come down? Does it come down like this? No. Does it come down like this? No. Does it come down like this? No. It comes down the same way it went up. Boom. Turn from here. I bring it right back down. Boom. Okay, this is what I rehearse. Now I just step up and just do it again. I like it. I like it. I like it. It's on the front edge of the green, a little right of that tree. I'm happy with it. I have a super long putt, but guess what you're going to get to see? It's hot tub time, ladies and gentlemen, everybody's favorite. This is the furthest hot tub that I've ever done. I can tell this is a 70 plus foot butt. Now, at this point, you're probably freaking out going, oh man, this is three putt land. Well, yeah, it could be, and that hurts, but I'm gonna show you a little way to relax your mind. At least it relaxes my mind. It works for me. These are things that work for me. And it seems like it's working for a lot of people. So we're gonna to continue to teach it because it makes things easier. And that's what I'm here to do. I'm not overcomplicating anything with all these weird technological terms of hydration and supination and exclamation and whatever mations you wanna to put together. No, no, no. Keep the game simple, everybody. Keep the game simple. Okay, let me show you what's going on here. You've hit a great shot, you're on the green, you have a long way. There's my ball, right here. Let's get a little closer so you can see it. We're gonna count it off. We're gonna count it off in yards and a yard is a big step. So here we go. There's the flag up there, there's my ball. Let's count it off, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 and a half. Let's call it 20, just to be safe. So 20, each pace was three feet. So 20 times three is 60. So 60 feet uphill, awesome. Now what do I do? Well, look at this, it's uphill here and it comes down here left, downhill, it's massive. Okay, how do I break this down? How do I make it as easy as possible? Which is what I love to do. Make things easy. Okay, ball is way down where? There. And the hole is obviously right there. Here's what I envision. Right now, right here, I get to a mindset where I take a shovel and I dig out a three foot hole around this hole. I dig it out. I go over there, I grab their garden hose, and I fill it up. I have a hot tub now, jacuzzi. I bring a couple girls over, a couple Miller High Lives. It's a Sunday pool party. Not really a pool, but it's a hot tub party. So I have this giant hole, and all I have to do is put that ball into this hole. Okay, well, how do you do that? Well, listen, here's a couple things on being cool. When you have a party and you got six girls in your hot tub, you think you're gonna run full speed in here and jump in and cannonball and get their hair wet and make a mess? No, you wanna be cool. You wanna walk in like this, smooth, hello. And then you get to here. You don't just jump in. You get to here and you go, hi, how you doing? Then they're gonna say, why don't you come in and have a beer? Then you gently walk in. You wanna do the same thing with your ball. You don't wanna just fire it in here, no. 
just let it get in here somehow, some way. This is really far. This is really hard. But if you envision that you have this giant hole in the ground and I said, hey, hit the ball in the hole in the ground, I bet you you could do that. I see it. I see this massive, massive hole in the ground. Okay. It's uphill. It's right to left. Just put it up there like this. This is how I envision this. I go, I'm going to, I'm going to roll it like this. How do I have to get it? How hard do I have to throw it to get it there? Okay. Like that. Nice. Put the ball down. I pick it up. I do it with two hands on my putter like this. That's it. Hit it in the jacuzzi. Let's see if I can do it. This is a tough one. I'm not guaranteeing anything, but I see the jacuzzi and I see the girls. Hi girls. I'm coming. Just give me a second. Boom. Boom. Hot tub. Hi girls. My name's Jimmy. Do you mind if I come into your hot tub? Ladies and gentlemen, that's a 60 plus foot putt that I put to three inches. Why? Because I had the mindset of the jacuzzi. Watch this. Easy par. I want you to try this. I want you to try this half swing. I want you to make the game as easy as possible. Please. No more long, big, full, nasty swings. Tighten it up. Tighten it up. Be cool. Hit shots into the fairway that will produce good things. Okay? Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you soon.